Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Beauty Cell. And today I am going to get into math and coding. Now, every so often I get questions on what type of math should you learn if you're going to be a programmer, either any or, or a professional or whatever it may be. This answer varies quite a bit and it is pretty important since math is kind of hard for a lot of people. But for the most part, one thing I want to mention is math is uh, one of those things that's not heavy in coding. There is it. There is some uh, math encoding, but it's algebra. Now, that's the uh, one thing, but there's always an exception to the rule. Everything, there's always an exception. So with that, so the exception to the rule for this one is if you're going to work in AutoCAD. So AutoCAD is a engineering 3D tool. So when you're making bridges or when I used it, when I was doing aerospace, it was making like a space shuttle wing craft, uh, the wings on space shuttle or uh, the nozzle on an engine or something like that, or the engine itself. Um, I, I used it last year making a Mars rover, and um, that was pretty cool. But anyways, uh, with that, you would use it in those aspects, some, something engineering like. Uh, but you'll have accounting software that you may need higher in math. You'll have, and it will have its own math in itself. Uh, you'll have other things that, that will need its own math. But unless you're going to something that unique, which is not likely because most things aren't, or if you're going into encryption, which needs even more math than even engineering does, then what you need to keep in mind is those are the only times that you, you really need something worthwhile. Otherwise, you just need basic algebra. And we're not even really talking about, uh, you say, I'm horrible at, at times tables or divisions. I'm horrible at divisions. But um, say you're horrible at times tables, divisions, whatever. Well, you don't even need that. You need to know why. Why? is something times something equals to something else. So why is two times two equals four? Why is a billion times whatever equals whatever? Same thing with addition. Multiplica uh, multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division. They all are the same way as far as why is something equals something. Simple as that. You don't need to know the exact thing you don't need to do in your head. The reason why, and this is a real big one, is the computer is going to be doing it for you. Now, there is some cases you can program and things. I've never seen this personally, but just throwing it out there because it might happen. There can be instances, um, even though I, I can't think of any off the top of my head on why this would happen, is you can have it where a if statement say if a equals eight or or whatever number or uh, yeah whatever number then do the following otherwise do whatever so how do you get the eight well you uh, you might have to figure that one out with whatever you're using it. And that's what I'm saying. I can't figure out the actual good reason why you'll have something like that. But I'm saying that is possible where you can have it where, like, if A equals whatever, then do the following. In fact, I've done recently, it will be coming out in a, a week or two, maybe a little bit more, on uh, Python videos that gets more into this on if statements check out that and even then I'm, I'm like I don't know why someone would program like a equals whatever um, and then do this that really doesn't make sense but there might be an actual reason so keep that in mind so again what you need to know is basically addition subtraction multiplication division uh, percentages I never ran to fractions, but won't hurt to pick that up. Um, if you can't, don't worry about it. 
percentages, uh, imaginary numbers make them up, and um, stuff like that, um, floats, stuff like that. So you, you may run into some odd things, and if you don't know what imaginary number it is or a float or whatever, then just look it up. It's like you can probably find like a sentence to explain it. There is a, so now you know what it is. Uh, also, you will need to do uh, or understand the positive and negative. So negative one versus positive one. So stuff like that. So in some cases, uh, especially you will need to know. One thing I want to add before I forget is you will need to know x, y, and z. So keep that in mind. And if you're doing like mapping longitude and latitude, and um, that's about it. But for the most part, you, you, you'll just need to know the basics. And you can research the others as it comes through, and it's not really that hard at all. So don't let uh, anyone saying you need to know math to do coding scare you off because that's it. Like, and, and I code most likely anyone that's going to argue against that is either in something very unique, like I said before, or they're just blowing smoke up your tail and they're expecting you to take it. So keep that in mind. So, and if they got wrong with that, tell them pound the sign because I really don't care because, again, I got proof that I can code. So anyways, if you do have any questions or anything else, then feel free to leave that in the comment section, and I'll try and try as quickly as possible. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Go to our Patreon to get these videos coming out, and hope you have a great day.